Since the beginning of time, we are finding new and better ways to travel, from the invention of wheel, to IC engines and airplanes. Now, we're working on fifth mode of transportation, other than water roads railways and air transportation, called, the Hyperloop. In the 19th century a breakthrough was made, when James Watt invented the steam engine. After that, we kept evolving with our mode of transportation. We started with boats and animal-powered vehicles, then with time we created electric and steam-powered cars, boats and even airplanes. And even now we're looking for a better way to travel. With that in mind, now we're on verge of another breakthrough, something which is faster and even safer than airplanes. So welcome to this intriguing episode of Tech News, our topic today is, Hyperloop. If you enjoy our videos, don't forget to show us your appreciation by subscribing and hitting that like button. Moving on. Hyperloop is an ultra-high-speed ground transportation system, in which specialized pods are accelerated through a low-pressure tube, to achieve speeds over 700 miles an hour. Hyperloop uses maglev technology, in which magnets are used to elevate trains and propel them forward at a high speed, making friction resistance negligible. Also to reduce aerodynamic drag or air resistance, the Hyperloop is accelerated through vacuum tube, resulting in greater speeds. When a current is fed through the magnetic track, the pods move forward, accelerating until they reach a speed where they lift up, like a boat planing along the water, while being guided by magnets. A series of vacuum pumps remove much of the tunnel's air, to the point where the atmosphere is similar to being 200,000 feet above sea level. Naturally, the pods will be pressurized like an airplane cabin. Hyperloop or Vactrain concept was first proposed by George Medhurst in 1799. This idea was revived, when Elon Musk first mentioned that he was thinking about a concept for a fifth mode of transport, calling it the Hyperloop. Musk further promoted the concept by publishing a white paper in August 2013 and open-sourced it to encourage other companies and organizations, to freely advance the technology. This led to many companies showing interest in Hyperloop, and the evolution of Hyperloop began. Since 2013, many companies are working on the concept of Hyperloop to make it real. Currently, Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, and Richard Branson's Virgin Hyperloop 1 are leading the race. On November 8, 2020, after more than 400 unmanned tests, Virgin Hyperloop conducted the first human trial with its co-founder, Josh Jiegel, and Director of Passenger Experience, Sarah Lukian, as the first passengers at a speed of 172 km per hour or 107 miles per hour, at its Dev Loop test site in Las Vegas, Nevada. On November 8, 2016, the firm announced it had signed a deal with Dubai's Roads and Transport Authority, to conduct feasibility studies on potential passenger and cargo Hyperloop routes in the United Arab Emirates. The Hyperloop concept, promises travel times between Dubai and Abu Dhabi into 12 minutes, rather than the current hour or longer. In February 2019, the company announced plans for the Indian state of Maharashtra, to build a hyperloop between Pune and Mumbai, beginning with an operational demonstration track. Yes, hyperloop technology is really amazing, and in coming decade, it might become a reality for our day-to-day -day travel. People would be able to live in less populated areas while working in the metropolitan cities. But the question is, what would be the cost? Well the Hyperloop is electric-powered and uses maglev or magnetic lavitation technology, so the cost of running Hyperloop transport would be much cheaper than high-speed trains. Now, if we talk about building the infrastructure, according to the initial claims from the Musk camp, a 350-mile Hyperloop system linking the two cities, could be constructed for $6 to $7 billion, charging $20 for the lightning quick 35-minute ride. Which is far cheaper, than the average $112 for the airplane ticket. Passengers could bypass the additional time required for airport security as well. With ticket prices so low, journey times so short, and with far less fuss compared to taking a flight, the Hyperloop looks promising on paper. But, the biggest concern with the Hyperloop, is its safety. What happens if the pod depressurizes or the track malfunctions? What about extreme weather? Well, Musk claims that the Hyperloop will be safer than any conventional form of transportation. According to Hyperloop Alpha, the system would be immune to rain fog and snow, and in the emergency case of a loss in cabin pressure, oxygen masks would drop, to counter the vacuum that forms in the pod. If one pod malfunctions, other pods would not be affected due to an emergency braking system. Then there is the issue with the comfort of ride. Can the human body withstand the pressure and speeds of the Hyperloop? According to Hyperloop 1 Senior Vice President of Engineering, the user experience is not going to be all that different, from what they'd feel on a conventional airline. When airplanes were first being pitched to the public, 
Many likely thought the idea was outlandish and dangerous. However, airplanes have made the world more connected than ever, and allowed the masses to travel long distances. With its innovative technology, the Hyperloop could have the same effect. Who knows, in the near future we may all be riding in vacuum-sealed pods. If you like the video, please like share and subscribe. So that, we can bring you all the latest news in the tech world.